and on this video um, I, I'm gonna share to you some tips on how my sister and I pass the licensure examination for teachers or the net. Bago tayo magsimula, I just want to say congratulations dahil basta tayo mag-isip ngayon, um, i-claim na natin. You claim it that you will pass the net. So, papasa ka, papasa ka sa net sa board exam. And fighting, God bless! channel. This is Teacher Sheng and kakawi ko lang from school and so I have decided to make a video and on this video um, I, I'm gonna share to you some tips on how my sister and I pass the licensure examination for teachers or the net and or the board exam for teachers since um, is upcoming. So but before that, bago natin simulan yung mga tips na ibibigay ko, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button and also the bell icon for you to be updated of my latest videos. So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga tips na uh, may bibigay ko sa inyo? Nang sa gayon ay may pasa nyo rin yung let katulad ng ginawa ko at ng aking kapatid. Bago tayo magsimula, I just want to say congratulations dahil advasa tayo mag-isip ngayon. Um, i-claim na natin. You claim it that you will pass the net. So, papasa ka, papasa ka sa net sa board exam. And fighting, God bless. So, yun na nga, pumunta na tayo sa mga tips or yung mga bagay-bagay na ginawa ko at ng aking kapatid para kami ay makapasa sa board exam. So, I passed the licensure examination five years ago. That was 2014. And my sister, just this recently lang, yung last na board examination, noong September 2018. So, yung mga bibigay ko sa inyong tips ay binigay ko rin to sa kanya. And, fortunately, she passed the licensure examination or the board exam. Hindi ko sinasabi na expert ako sa bagay na to. Because I'm not. But, um, this tips na ibibigay ko ay naging effective sa akin at sa kapatid ko rin. This work for both of us. So, hopefully, makatulong din sa inyo. So, let's go now to the uh, five tips that I will give you this uh, tip. Okay. Number one, set your goals or um, look for a motivation. Set your goals. So, nung pagkukuha ka ng let, isipin mo na you will take this let once and for all. One take only. Huwag ka na mag-isip na hindi ka papasa or what. So, pag take mo ng, ng board exam, nasa isip mo na yun, napapasa ka. Next, look for a motivation. So, bakit ka ba mag-board exam? Para kanino ba to? Bakit mo ba to gagawin? Bakit ka mag-take ng board exam? Of course, Number one, dapat para sa sarili mo yon, Para finally, you can call yourself as a professional. Because here in the Philippines, we have this mindset na though nakagraduate ka na ng education, elementary man or secondary, kapag hindi ka pa nakakapasa ng board exam, parang hindi mo pa masabi na ikaw talaga ay totally or finally a professional. So, yung goal mo o yung motivation mo ay para makuha mo yung inaasam-asam mong lisensya. At para kanino pa? Para sa sarili mo at higit sa lahat para sa pamilya mo. Para naman maibalik mo yung mga paghihirap nila na makatulong ka na rin sa pamilya mo. At yun naman yung naasam-asam natin ng mga anak, di ba? Na pagkatapos ng college, makapagtrabaho tayo at makatulong tayo sa ating pamilya. Aww. Tip number two. Review. Dapat tayo mag-review. And in reviewing, there are a lot of things that you need to take into considerations. Una doon, 2.1 is mag-review ka ba? Are you going to enroll in a review center or mag-self-study? As for me, um, it worked for me and my sister. Sabi ko nga, nag-review center kami. It is much better for you to enroll in a review center. Why? Kasi sa review center, mas alam mo yung gagawin mo doon. Um, kung ano yung uunahin mo, at mas guided ka. Yung school ko is here in Negros. 
but my review center kasi pumunta ako ng Manila after gradu graduating in college dun yung dun ako nag-review sa review center ko sa Taft Avenue sa Manila sa main campus ng Philippine Normal University and another good thing pag nag-review center ka is they provide review materials like for example is this one review materials so and I really considered having a review materials as very helpful. So, may mga questions talaga dito na not exactly the same, pero the same idea yung lalabas sa left. Ang daming items talaga na lumabas um, from here sa mga reviewer ko. This is a professional education reviewer and I also have the general education. This one. So, yun. Take time. To review. Di ba kung sasaba ka sa gera, dapat handa ka. At saka mag-review ka na lang din, lubos-lubosin mo na. And do not compare yourself to others. If wag mong, wag mong tingnan kung gano ka tagal, o gano ka haba, o gano ka bilis sila nag-review. Set your own pace. Kasi you would know eh. Kasi sarili mo, alam mo kung hanggang saan yung kaya mo. But as for me, it works better for me. It worked better for me na uh, the longer that I've spent time to review, the better. Kasi kung mas mahaba kang, mas mahaba yung time mo na nag-review, ibig sabihin nun, mas marami kang natutunan at mas marami kang, uh, mas marami kang matatandaan. Mas maraming magre-retain sa utak mo. And also dapat, paulit-ulit. Kasi, I I've heard this from one of our coach or professor before na repetition is the, is the key repetition is the key paulit habang paulit-ulit mo siyang binabasa or pinag-aaralan mas nagre-retain yun sa utak mo and another is para siyang practice makes perfect so Whenever you practice, um, mas na master mo yung skills, mas naalala mo yung mga idea or yung mga information na pinag-aaralan mo. So, for 2.3, understanding concept. In taking the licensure examination, kasi we tend to, in reviewing I mean, we tend to memorize and familiarize concept, not understanding it. So that's the parang common mistake natin. Kasi in the licensure examination for teachers, uh, what happened there is, um, you need really to understand the concept. Kasi pag naintindihan mo yung concept, um, kasi more on application siya more on real life situation it is better for you to understand than to just memorize it next under parents sa, sa, sa review is um take down notes this is really effective for me kasi nga iba pa rin pag nagte-take down notes ka mas naiiwan yon mas nare-recognize o mas nare-recall ng ating mind kapag um, kapag tina-take down notes natin yung mga pinag-aaralan natin so you can use um, i mean if you can if you compare it to na just by reading everything using your cell phone using your laptop using your tablet or any gadgets um, it is much better to take down notes and also use notebook, paper, you can also utilize mga sticky notes and markers for you to highlight important details. Kasi pag may highlight, mas makikita mo, mas nare-recall ng mind mo yung mga information na in-study mo or pinag-aralan mo. Let's say for example, dito sa akin, I really use highlighters and markers. Like for example, this one. Wow! And um, Tip number three, trust yourself. Tiwala lang mga bells, pero huwag naman overconfidence. Uh, yung ang sinasabi ko dito is that, alam mo sa sarili mo na nag-review ka, at syempre may dasal din nakas nakasama. So there's no reason for you not to pass the licensure examination for teachers. Number four, take time to relax. Learn to, learn to chill, learn to Learn to chill and relax then mga das pag may time. Wag naman puro halos ano na lang pag-aaral. Give yourself a break. Kahit one day to unwind man lang. And um do sa panahon na yun na magpapahinga ka, try to try to talk to your friends, to your family kasi iba pa rin yung may support, ka. iba pa rin yung may support system ka coming from your coming from the people who are important to you. Tip number 5. Tip number 5 is to 
Pray. The most important thing of all is to pray. Ako, I would really consider na uh, prayer is the greatest weapon na ginamit ko in passing the licensure examination for teachers. Okay, tama naman talaga na nag-aaral tayo, pero dapat talaga na iba yung aaral at iba rin yung pagdarasal. So, kung nag-aaral ka, dapat may sapat din na pagdarasal. Dapat sa lahat ng ginagawa natin, sa mga plano natin, na isama natin si God. Kasi God will really help you to become successful in the future. Kasi nga, naniniwala rin ako sa kasabihan na nasa tao, nasa Diyos ang awa at nasa tao ang gawa. Kaya dapat nag-aaral ka rin at nagdadasal at the same time. 2,000 years later. And yes, there you have it mga Bells. Yun yung limang tips na maibibigay ko sa inyo na hopefully makatulong sa inyo to pass the licensure examination. Basta, don't for, basta don't forget lang talaga to pray and to claim it. Claim nyo na na you will pass, that you will really pass this licensure examination for teachers and Thank you so much for watching my video. Do not forget to um, click the subscribe button and also the bell icon for you to be updated of my latest videos. And also, please comment down below kung may mga questions pa po kayo regarding on how to pass the board exam for teachers. See you lamang at maraming salamat. Bye-bye!